So this rather heavy box was dropped off by the postman this morning. Luckily I would given him his little Christmas gift a little a couple of days ago so uh, he couldn't really give me a hard time about the weight of this thing because this thing is heavy. Um, this is the thing from Inventables called the X-Curve which is a like a baby CNC machine uh, which comes as a kit you build it up all yourself and it'll do some sort of light CNC work and I thought it was time I learned all about CAD CAM and messed around with this stuff so uh, I got this one f directly from Inventables in the US so the shipping cost for something this heavy which came all the way from Chicago to my door is uh, yeah there was a lot of money <laughs> to spend on shipping and then just to add to my pleasure the Swiss authorities when it arrived decided I should pay some import duty and some VAT and stuff like that which stuck another hundred bucks onto the onto the price so uh, <laughs> I hope to get many many hours of fun and enjoyment out of this thing because uh, <laughs> it represents a fair all investment um, now the land of YouTube is flooded with videos of people building these and using these so uh, I don't know I'll, I'll tape some of it but I'm not sure you guys would be overly interested in watching me put it all together and stuff um, I'm I'm probably one of the minority though in the sense that I actually bought this with my with my own money and it seems like Inventables have saturated the YouTube community uh, by giving these things to uh, all sorts of folks. So there's a lot of videos about people building these up and putting them together and so on. Um, so we'll see. So guys, challenge number one with this CNC project. Um, this is the box with all the power supply bits. And the power supply comes in this little box here. Um, so I took it out of its little box and not good, huh? So somewhere along the way, the post office did its five foot drop. And uh, as near as I can tell, what's actually happened here is the whole rotor assembly of the cooling fan has busted off the, the mounting. And so that must have been a fair old drop to make that happen. So... <clears throat> There goes power supply warranty because John is about to open it up and see if we can either fix the fan or replace it uh, before we go any further. So I'm hoping the only thing connected to this top plate is the fan and all the components on the power supply itself are connected to the, uh, to the rest. Because if that's the case I've taken out the uh, six screws and so I should be able to take the top off. And uh, have a look see. Buddy. Yeah, there we go. It's completely busted off. So yeah, there's little bits of circuit boards. <laughs> <laughs> so, unfortunately it's not plugged in to the main board, it's, uh... Okay, hmm. Yep, I think this fan's had it because the uh, there is a central... I don't know, with this camera if I can show it to you. See, uh... But this central portion here is a plastic ring which is an integral part of the back and it's just busted it off all the way around so 
uh, I can't see me getting that back together in any meaningful way so I need to find a fan 12 volts 190 milliamps uh, I don't think I mean I have a lot of fans I just don't think I have any that are this thin it's quite thin Zilla, we're going to have to go and find one. Probably too late to get it before the, the Christmas now. But hey, we'll, we'll take our time and we'll do it properly. Well, I think I'm in luck. I uh, went online to my regular electronics retailer and uh, I was almost despairing because the only this is 60 mil by 60 mil by 15 um, and uh, basically on, on the website there's like 54 pages of axial fans and uh, and yeah the majority of them are 60 by 60 by 25 which is like an inch thick um, but I did eventually find one so it's on order and uh, says it's in stock so hopefully that'll come before everything shuts down for the holidays and we'll be back when it arrives so here's the damaged uh, rotor this circular piece here um, is smashed off because it should be if you like fixed to the uh, to the back housing and it just uh, all smashed to pieces and then the rest it falls apart then <laughs> when you've lost that and so here we have the little wires coming off the uh, the coils in the motor and yeah unfortunate but there you go so the other thing I thought I'd check for impact damage is the stepper motors because they're so heavy um, and they seem to be okay but you can clearly see here where when the thing was dropped the impact was clearly on this side because there are no marks like this on the other side um, <laughs> so yep I would say these things took a an end force impact on the shafts uh, because two of them were actually like this with the shafts facing to the edge uh, yeah, and the other, they were facing with the shafts out. Um, probably for the better, really. Well, we'll find out when we fire it up. Another little item to mention for all you uh, international customers. The, it comes with a US power cable. So you will need, obviously, to have a local one. Either change the plug on this, or just replace it with a... Uh, European equivalent.